This is the Economic Development Commission meeting for Wednesday, December 15th at 6 p.m. Attending tonight are uh, Serena, Amber, myself, Michael McMahon, and we have guests. Um, one of the selectmen, Joe Didi, is here, Diane Gale, and uh, Cooks. I can't. No, Cook over God. Cook. Uh, cook. cook dash over gun. Right. Okay. So first thing we all have is public comments. Does anyone have any public comments? I just want to ask you if they're going to do hybrid meetings. Probably not in the foreseeable future. How come? Technology. I've listened to some meetings that were done hybrid. Listen to them from home a day or two days after the meeting. You can't hear half the speakers. You don't know what's going on. It's a mess. In fact, I was at the last selectmen's meeting sitting in the front row and I could barely hear the selectmen. So God only knows what people heard if they were listening on the web. It just... And, and honestly, we, we've never even had anybody here at our meetings. Nobody's ever come to our meetings. Until this, up until now. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, there's not, I mean, there's not a whole lot. Are those posted anywhere, what you've recorded? I'm, we turn them into the selectman's office, that's all I know. I would think there's, some, I don't know, I can find out, but I would think they have to be somewhere. Yeah. They would have yeah, to I, I, I don't know. I mean, they're not on the website under. I, I, can't, ac I can't access the town website except as a member of the public, I can't put anything on the website. Oh, no. I, know. Yeah. I know. I have no idea who does it. Okay. We're provided with no information from any relevant department in town hall how this process is supposed to work. You can... Yeah, you turn that in like you do. It goes, to, I think, to Michelle Hill first. And I, I turn it into your secretary. Right. So I believe it goes to Michelle Hill. And if it's going online, it would go through Jim Middleton. If it's going somewhere, I don't know, but I will. Yeah, I'll get you your answers. Yeah, I, I have no idea. I don't either. Any other public comments? Um, old business changes and business developments in town. I always try to put together some things I'm aware of, and then what else people can add to that. The property at 141 Congamon Road that was previously rep, uh, Krabby Joe's, they anticipate becoming a bar and a restaurant with a large number of boat slips. They discussed this at the last planning board meeting, and they were throwing around all sorts of numbers of maybe 62 boat slips and something about 10 or 16 transient boat slips. And uh, the, the planning board said, I'm not sure you've got enough parking because they said yeah. they would have 95 people at, in the restaurant and they needed <clears throat> boats, they needed some parking spaces for the people on, that have boat slips and other boats would come in from wherever and have somebody to eat or drink or whatever, whatever Krabby Joe's will be called. So that's still up in the air with the planning board. They told the planning board that they were going to be filing an application with some, some state agency, they didn't say what agency, for a marina. So ultimately, I don't know if there'll be 40 boat slips, 62 boat slips, or some other number. It was a little confusing at the meeting. Uh, the former key bank on College Highway was listed for sale. It's been sold. It was sold for $700,000 to a dentist who apparently lives in Southwick and has his dental practice in Agawam. Uh, he discussed his plans with the planning board at their December the 8th meeting and um, they listened to him. They didn't approve it at that meeting, but I got the impression it will be approved at the next meeting. Because apparently they, some members of the planning board asked him, are you going to make any changes to the outside? And he said basically no. Apparently he's got enough parking spaces for staff and patients and 
mm. everything else. He'd be making changes inside whatever he has to do to make it a dental practice. Is he going to keep drive the drive-through? <laughs> <laughs> well, drive people people drive joked yeah. about that at the planning board they meeting. They do like drive-through whitening. You know, well, you might, might you might pull teeth or get there you go. a felling or something there you go. at the drive-through. He also owns land further mm -hmm. south. I think I knew. Where yeah. he's got the big sign. By American Inn or the villages there. It, yeah. it says you know for rent. Yep. Medical offices. Yep. I talked to him out in the hall after he was at the planning board meeting. I I ran out with him <laughs> out, and he said that yeah down the road he'll probably build the other building, but good. That's not his immediate focus. Good. Getting this building up and running for dental practice is immediate. Uh, two other people and their attorney were on uh, Zoom at the last planning board meeting. They want to talk about putting in a potential marijuana growing that. facility. I heard about that. Yeah. It would be in a, a 3,000 square foot greenhouse on approximately three and a half acres, acres of land. Across the street from um, Hash House, right? Hash from House. Hash House. I believe that's the same property that somebody wanted to put storage facilities in on, and they were told that wasn't appropriate. A couple of members of the planning board did tell these people on Zoom that Southwick has what they call an overlay district, yeah. both for cell towers and also for marijuana. And this property is not in that overlay district. So if they wanted to do anything, they would have to file an application. It would have to be approved by the planning board, I, possibly the selectman, I'm not sure. And then it would have to go to town meeting. So I don't know if that will go anywhere. And town meeting's in May. Right. So any zoning, anything... Has to wait till May. <laughs> well, unless there was a special town right, meeting between right, now and right, then. Right. They're still selling lots and houses at the the uh, former country club. Yeah. Most of the action now is on the east side because almost everything on the west side is sold out, and they're continuing to sell properties, uh, both lots as well as completed houses, houses at Noble Steed which is the development behind Big Y. Mm -hmm. And the the developer was at the last planning board meeting. He apparently didn't put up a bond for the roads and other drainage facilities or whatever these got to do for the development. He put up some of the building lots. So the town has a hold on those lots but one of the lots he sold apparently in September, October, and now the the buyer who bought the lot for hundred and something thousand can't get a building permit to build a house because the lot has a bond on it. Has a, like a you know has a hold on it. Yeah. Mm. And um, the owner, the person who bought the lot, was there saying, "Why can't I build?" Why can't you people just give me a building permit? And they're saying, we need security that the road and the drainage and storm drains and all the rest of it will be built. Because the planning board and the town in the past, in the last 10 years, has been snookered or whatever term you want to use in other developments in town where the developer built some of the stuff, never finished it, and walked. So then the town took what was left of the bond, which wasn't enough to finish the road right. and the other drainage stuff, and the town had to spend town money to finish the project. That was in the northeast part of town in the development. So they don't want to get stuck with that again. And That's um, unfortunate. Yeah. It, but it, it's, it's unfortunate uh, for the buyer, I feel, you know. I don't understand why your lawyer would let you buy if you've got this cloud on the title unless they, unless they well know. unless they yeah unless they were unaware and uh, if it was something between i, I don't know yeah i, I, I don't know how I don't it was know. set up you know so i'm not the buyer or the seller for any right. of those properties or at the moment right <laughs> so uh i don't know anything 
The condo project on Depot Street was discussed again on the December the 8th planning board meeting and it looks like at their next meeting, which I believe is next Tuesday, that they'll have a, con a decision with conditions. In other words, the, Good. the developer has to in do this, has to include this, has to do, you know, whatever will be on the conditions. It sounds like they may be approving that next week. Good. We'll have some new, new fresh faces in town. And a proposed memorandum on larger developments that's been mentioned in the Westfield News a couple of times. It was discussed at the December the 8th uh, planning board meeting. No decisions were made. And if something is approved at the planning board level, it would have to go to an annual town meeting. The author of that memorandum is sitting in the room <laughs> and we'll see what what that turns out to be eventually. As a panel there was an, an original proposal and then there was some modification. Yeah, modification. Members of the public didn't see right. what the memorandum proposed memorandum was. I believe the planning board members all had a copy of it. So what else is happening in town? Well, there's the new place over at Nora's, right? Didn't they they opened yeah. up some oh, kind yeah. of what bar, a coffee, I don't know, some bar shop or bar shop, yeah, I think right. so. Yeah, apparently they're keeping a, a liquor license. So they'll be serving liquor and coffees and I don't know what else. And it looks like a little, I don't know, store, like they have like little store, store or well, like little gifts or something in there. I don't know. I don't think they're selling food right now, someone told me. I no, I think know. somebody said they had a food truck there one day or mm. something. I don't know. I, I don't know. The parking there is difficult, I think, to have. Very. <laughs> well, yeah, because it's, it's limited to like yeah. eight or ten cars, not yeah. very many. Um, and at the last selectman's meeting, they were approving switching over the manager for the liquor license. So is it a new owner altogether or is it just It's changed? the same okay. owner. I don't know if this it's is her changed. business or if she's renting out I to somebody. Mm. I, I don't know I which. Okay. Maybe Joe you could add to that. Same owner I believe is a new bar manager. I see. Who realistically is the person running the whole thing. It's a okay. coffee slash liquor thing they yeah. close i think at eight they're not open late oh, okay um it looks cute i wouldn't be able to drink I, coffee past yeah i don't 2 p.m and eight. Yeah. <laughs> looks very so, neat looks very yeah nice it, it does yeah the pictures the pictures and the drinks nice look job. great i yeah. mean it looks really neat so I hope it works yeah i do too yeah it's not mm -hmm. something in the paper on that either. yeah it looks yeah. really cute i mean you know little niche kind of you better know, have thing. something there than nothing right right, right. absolutely yeah. mm. yes. now um was there something going in over by like um, where the chimney suite? Like, is there something going in over there? Another business? I could have sworn I saw that I saw some action over that way you in one of the things. Chimney by subway, you mean? Yeah, by near, maybe you, near subway or the next one. You've I can't got remember. the uh, the pet store, which yeah. is pets and fish yeah. and various other things, and you've got subway. And the hair salon. Environmental first is environmental there. Right, first environmental is there. first. There's still an open spot. There's I was a, just there the other day. Oh, there is still an open yeah. spot? Okay. I thought I saw somebody it doing says something in there. It says you go to the chimney place if you're interested in renting it, it says. What's that? It says you go to the chimney place if you're interested in renting it. Oh, okay. Okay. That's where he They're used to They're great. They're super nice. Over. Oh, did they move over? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they did. And that whole somebody piece, purchased of, it. piece yeah. of real estate that's been sold yeah. was sold to De Palma by yeah. from whoever had the property before. So what else is going on in town in terms of businesses or anything? That's all I know right now. I think that next year we should get a little leg up, I think, with COVID and stuff. But maybe what we should do is, I, um, I did see somebody post something on, on Facebook about, you know, hey, what businesses are offering, you know, Black Friday or Small Business Saturday deals? So I think next year what we should do is maybe try and go into some of the businesses and say, Hey, are you offering something or restaurants? You know, some of the restaurants, if you buy like a hundred dollars, they'll give you another twenty dollar gift card, right? right. If they, you buy a hundred dollar gift card, they'll give you twenty. So if we could, you know, we can maybe gather a list and let the public uh -huh. know about kind of things like that, um, if people are willing to do it. I feel bad the country colonial shops, you know, I always look forward to their little magazine they put out and they have the coupons yeah. in the yeah. back and stuff. And I mean, 
you know. We, well, we got I, the coupons in today's mail. Yes, oh, did it come in today? today? Oh, today. I didn't grab my yeah, mail today. I, okay. I kept wondering, gee, we always get one ad. So per I year went in there. Them. So whenever I close on a property, I that's one of my stops. Is I always go in there and I always buy something like a housewarming gift for from them. You know, I buy other stuff, nice. but I always buy mm -hmm. something from them every single time. Um, and so I was in there and I'm going. Where's your magazine? Where's those coupons? <laughs> like, and so um, they said it was the printer. It got out really late this year. They weren't even sure if it was going to come in on time, mm -hmm. and so. There's the forty percent off coupon and there's some twenty five percent off coupon. Yeah, well, I, I already, got mine today. Too. I already bought all my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, so they were they were ready a little late, but good. I'm glad that that came in. I'm glad. But, so they'd be, you know, somebody like them. Like, you know, would you be mm -hmm. willing to do like a, you know, even if it's a 10% coupon or something right. like that. And then we could just kind of make a list of things, um, mm -hmm. you know, for the businesses. You know, who knows, maybe, you know, like someone like New England Chimney Suites, maybe they'd offer, you know, 10% off a service or, you know, if you book it on mm -hmm. that, that day or something. We had 12 businesses on College Highway this year. That had a couple of small business Saturday bags, and yep. I gave them some other little signs yep. and stuff that we had gotten from American Express. They were very enthusiastic. In fact, one of the businesses I went into says, "You haven't been here in two years. You didn't come in here last year. But you were here two years ago." And she already had. She had oh, nice. saved the little signs oh, good. from two years ago. Oh, good. She had them as soon as you came in oh, the door. Perfect. I said, "You've got more." I said, yeah, here's some new ones. Good, They're good, slightly good, good. different shape or whatever. Yeah, and you well, have a board We were kind of non-existent right? last shop, year. Yeah. All shop local. Yeah, yeah. Right. yep, I see that. I have it here. I also have it across the street from the mobile station. Nice. And some of the businesses, I intentionally looked at last year's list so I wouldn't keep going back to the same, same ones. ones. Yeah. We've got so yep. many on College Highway. We've got more businesses than I've got paraphernalia. Right, right. Mm. Absolutely. So I well, and that's the other the thing other. too is maybe we could reach out to a couple other. You know what I mean? Not just like American Express. Well, the see, American Express gives the stuff out around. across the country free. Right. If you want anything else, then you've got to spend somebody's money. <laughs> be it buying bags or signs mm. or right, whatever it might be. Right. We could see though if other, you know, like Capital One or somebody else wanted to do it as well. Mastercard, Visa. You know what I mean. We could always reach oh, yeah. out to and see if they would be willing to. Uh, I gave some stuff for Small Business Saturday to that little smoothie place at Two Hundred Eight Calgary yeah, yeah, yeah. behind yeah. McDonald's. They both. I said, "How long you been here?" And they said, "Oh, about three months." She wasn't when we did our um, our uh, job fair. Mm -hmm. She hadn't like you know she was just getting the place together so she's like oh she's like thank you so you know I welcomed her but I was right. like this is so exciting um, but yeah mm. that that looks great too mm -hmm. I look at all their pictures then. nice yeah they, they do a lot of in effect advertising on Facebook yeah. without paying for ads mm -hmm. but just yeah little display things yeah. on there it's perfect but he likes an avocado toast. And a smoothie, right, Michael? <laughs> <laughs> I do more than McDonald's. <laughs> See, <laughs> everybody funny. has their own taste. I know. Um, so, any other businesses or things going on in town? Did the clean? Did the cleaning place? I didn't even look. Did they? Did they? They opened up. Good. Christmas Plaza. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, good. I mean, I see. I saw her, like advertising on There's Facebook. There's a new hair salon in front of um, the Blooms. Is that what it's called? Blooms, right. something. Um, at the yeah. Oh. Transfer station. Um, oh yeah, that's um. The, the little mall there where the. Yeah. What's the name of that? We're. <sighs> you're the gentleman that should be. Used to be here works, Craig. Craig, Craig, Craig at the Notch. Yeah. They're in where there used to be another beauty salon yes. before. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yes. Okay. I gave, Again, they weren't. They weren't. Oh, they weren't. They were still in the process of like I, I gave them some stuff. Oh, good, 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 good. It was on a Saturday morning. The place was packed, and it was so noisy from everybody talking. Really? That's yeah, awesome. That's nice. That's really good. Nice. So they already had a built-in clientele. The place wasn't big enough wherever they were. Great. Oh, so nice. That's fantastic. They were packed. You know, it's funny because everybody always goes, how many, like, hair salons and stuff do you need? But... 
15 or 20 in but here's the thing well but here's the <laughs> thing though <laughs> if you have a stylist that you love and you yeah. whatever you end up following them wherever they end up going sure. and so it's just one of those things and you know that's a good opportunity, especially if they're coming from like West Springfield and Adwan, mm -hmm. like you say, they're bringing their clientele into Southwick and, you know, maybe they grab a sandwich over at the Notch or maybe, you know what I yep, mean? Yep. Pop into one of the farm stands. One of the things that Southwick did in the last couple of weeks, but the town never announced it and they never mentioned it at a selectman's meeting, is they've dropped the tax rate. Hmm. It's... Instead of being 1757, which it was this past year, and the year before that was 1747, it's now 1698. Although, don't if, worry. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, although if you go on the assessor's webpage this past week, the latest assessments are there, which at least bumped up some properties. Oh, yeah. So it's like, now, I know yeah, some properties now. went up about 10%. And the tax dropped 3.85 percent. So the bottom yeah. line is, your bill will be a little bigger, but you might be happier that the rate dropped a little. <laughs> I I don't know in the aggregate right. how much it yeah. amounted to, but it, the selectmen, you guys, I don't think we certified that yet, though. It's already been done. The state's so already approved. That, but it. I don't think it's come. Yeah, I, I, I don't like full circle. I've been back and I haven't seen it. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. In fact, I asked Doug after the last meeting, he says, I don't know what the rate is. Yeah. And he yeah. thought, oh, here's the, here's the paper here. You can have it. So at least, you know, competitively speaking, if the town is looking at other small businesses that are in other towns, our tax rate is sixteen ninety eight. That's per thousand dollars of value. Westfield is 36 point something. Agawam, under previous administrations, always said, we've got the lowest tax rate around. It was 16 something residential, but it's 34 point something commercial and industrial. It is. Yeah. So if you're a small business, if you've got, let's say, half a million dollars worth of property, be it land and buildings, whatever, you could save a few thousand bucks a year just by coming to Southwick. And the real estate may be cheaper. It may be the same or maybe cheaper, but you're talking some real dollars after a while. I agree. So what else is happening? Anything on your... I haven't seen anything. <laughs> I see from your reports, typically... There's only ten or eleven houses for sale. Yeah, right now the yeah, I think there's there's you know, which is funny because I think I I saw a post from like four years ago that I had done one and there was like there's only fifty houses for sale in Southwick and now we're like working with like ten, <laughs> eleven and I'm like, Oh my gosh, yes. I can't, you know, find anything for my people. But yeah. And so, I mean, typically this time of year, you know, right now, people aren't, you know, hot and heavy to throw. But even in the market, summer when you're putting out those It doesn't reports. matter. It's still low. And, you know, and Agawam's really, was really low too. And even, you know, even for Westfield. Westfield's, you know, decent-sized city. And, I mean, they're still really low as well. So, it's just... Uh, it just is what it is right now. But the other consideration, which I think is where, where the, the meat of your analysis is, you'll list prices and it'll be like two properties under $300,000. One, maybe five hundred to 600000 and everything else is six hundred and above yeah. or five fifty and above. So it's like if someone is trying to start out or trying to move up from a four-room right. Cape Cod, your leap is to like five fifty or six hundred. It's hard, and that's and that's the thing is that you know when you get in that medium range of between like two and three hundred thousand, and even in the low fours, they just fly right off the market yeah, because do. especially if they're you know in decent condition and priced right, because there's just nothing out there in those you know price ranges. There's um, you know a little bit more competition, I think. In those price ranges, I'd say, like in Aguam and Westfield. Sure. Yeah. But there's still, you know, we still have, you know, the people that need, like, 
the 200 and under you know what i mean they're still looking for yeah, those and there's really not anything out there that it, it's just not not where the market three, is anymore every three or four weeks we get postcards from various real estate agents Maybe in the area yeah. are you thinking of selling your house are you curious are they, what your are house they only might from, be worth? Are they, only, are they only from me, Michael? <laughs> no, 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 they, no, no. These are from other people. Funny, I never get those. <laughs> yeah, they they could be black. Yeah, they do. Name, like, <laughs> but I, I get them from two or yep. three other female real yep. estate agents yep. in town. Yeah. Oh, the men do it too. No, I, 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 I just, <laughs> no, I just use the example. Well, a lot of real estate people in residential tend to be women. In, in some markets, I'm not saying in all markets, right. but in this area. There's, well, I don't know, <laughs> a lot of guys too, a lot of them, so. So nothing else in terms of development? No, not, see, no. not that I know of anything more. In terms of new business development of our 2023 budget, currently our budget is $600. The year before it was twelve hundred dollars. I I think if we're thinking of doing our um, our spring home um, and business show, home and business show, we we really need to ask to you know twelve hundred was still already low. I feel like if we're going to be doing these, you know, doing some sort of events and stuff too. And you know, if we want to do a small, you know, shop small business and stuff like that, you know. It'd be nice to have a little bit of something, a little cushion. Right. Well, for, for example, the sign outside here, forget the frame, the, those are indestructible in the last few years. The inserts, I've been getting the inserts for $30 a piece, which I think is a bargain price mm -hmm. from um, Spotlight Graphics on Wally Way. Oh, okay. They're still just there. off Hudson okay. Drive. But... I assume over time, the cost of materials and freight and everything else, she's probably going right. to have to jack those prices up a little bit. So if you want a couple of changes of signs, other than you know right. the ones we've had for years, that would cost some money, as you say, be it promoting the home and business show or promoting anything. Well, and promoting the home and business show isn't just promoting it, but if we're going to do it somewhere where it's you know off-site, where people are actually going right. to attend... You know, and it, depending on what the, you know, Westfield Chamber is doing this coming year, which we still don't know. Right. Um, you know, I think that we, we should be able to, you know, if we roll it back over to Tucker's or something like that and say, hey, yeah, we're going to do, you know, the mm -hmm. cheese board and the apps and stuff like that. Right. Um, be it be it Tucker's or the ranch. ranch. Wherever, yeah. You're talking uh, in the past. I don't know what future prices are going to be, but in the past it's been... Well, if you want some cheese, you want some hors d'oeuvres, you want some right. meatballs. That was 150 or 200 bucks, and then of course they made their profit from the, the bar. bar. Right. But they were charging us not for the room, but right mm. for the little food odds and ends. Right. But so between that, buying a few of these inserts with yeah. signs, yeah. Um, the dues to the Westfield Chamber and yeah. the Granby Chamber. We're gone. We're nothing. Six hundred bucks doesn't do it. Right. So you write up a proposal for when it comes time for budget season, saying we were at twelve hundred, mm -hmm. right, and break it down. We'd like to bring this the show back. Mm -hmm. It's X for a hall. It's X for the chambers. Right. Bring the math out, so then us stupid guys can go. Well, how do you cut that? Because you, you don't have. You don't have any cushion. Here's where every penny goes. Right. It's that simple. Right. And, you and then and then let them argue it. You know what I mean? No, because we know oh things are tight. We're going to cut, but it's never written down. You know what I mean? Yeah. Lead your Broken case. Down. Not that you need to. Right. Right. But right. More like say, hey, f you. This is why we need it. Yeah. And then then yeah. let us idiots have our argument. And then you say twelve hundred was too short. We really needed two grand. That's what I was. I yeah, was going to yeah, propose that. I was going to propose two thousand. I mean, yeah. I think. I think having right. two thousand. That way, you know, if we. So then they only cut you to twelve hundred. Exactly. So that. And then you so, come back and say fifteen, and we're good. Yeah. <laughs> but, there, but there's yeah. no negotiation. Yeah, there's no negotiation. You yeah. submit your paper. Know, the, the way the town works, you submit your paperwork. There's that Saturday morning, in February yeah. or March. 
you plead your case, they don't tell you what they're going to do, and the next time you see it is the town budget at the annual town meeting. There's no conversation in between. And that that goes not just for economic development. It's everybody. It's the everybody. library, everybody everybody the school. else. What's that? It's everybody yeah. at the school. Yeah. Right. The school says, we'll take 50% of everything you bring in. <laughs> Thank you. On yeah. July 1st, we'll just take our $10 million. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. See uh -huh. you in 12 months. <laughs> and this year, the schools didn't even provide any data on what they were doing with the money. There were no handouts at right. this year's annual town meeting. At least in prior years, mm -hmm. they give you 30 or 40 pages of Breakdown. stuff. Right. Yeah. This year, not a page. Yeah. It's just the right to take half your money. It's a racket. Those kids. <laughs> Those darn kids. Well, that, Those that's darn the, future the, the, of our the, the, town. No, but it just, the number of kids in the school system actually is going down last it year is. four years. It it's is. Going oh, down 100 to 200 per year. Yeah. But, and the way the state does the school system with budgets, we're going to get really whacked this year because we're not a poor town. So they changed that whole method. They're going to go after the Springfields and the Holyokes with more funding. And we're going to... Well, I knew they talked about they created some new system, yeah. but the newspapers never explained what... I don't think they even... The I don't think they probably don't know. Until, right. until you get the, you know, the rational blessing of holy shit. Right. It's like, it's like right now, you know, they're doing the free lunches and breakfasts and for across the board but towns like springfield already had free yeah, breakfasts right. and lunches because of the right. you had to hit a certain ratio right. and our right. town the kids in our our school system just don't hit that ratio right. of, of under mm -hmm. the poverty level mm -hmm. right. i mean they get like the reduced and they get help but but it's not across the board right. for all kids so so then what number do we want to tell two thousand are you yeah, I, I'm good with that. Two thousand, yeah. Okay. You might end up with fifteen hundred, like you said. Maybe. <laughs> so then go twenty-two and get. <laughs> yeah, you know. I... But you got to know how you. But that way, at least we can have the home and business show mm -hmm. again. Right. If if you know, all goes well, and you know, and if if Westfield Chamber can't do it with us, at least we know we can handle it on our own. Well, yeah, to we, do in, in the past, so. the first we've done it, right? Four, oh, I know years. we have, I know we have, but I'm just saying, that yeah. right. you know, it just at least we know we can't do it on six hundred dollars, and right. we'll have nothing left. You know, there won't be enough. So, and then if we need to do another job fair or something comes up right. where we feel like we need to do something, you know, at least we have a little bit of wiggle mm -hmm. room to do something else. Mm -hmm. Okay. In terms of, as, as I was mentioning earlier, the Small Business Saturday in Southwick, I, we used to get 50 bags that said Small Business Saturday. Right. This year, when you sign up for it, you, you never know what you're going to get. The website doesn't tell you until the UPS truck <laughs> shows up with a box. This year, we got 30 bags instead of 50. Hmm. So I said, well, let me give like two or three bags to each business. Mm -hmm. So I jumped it from 10 businesses I could give stuff to, to 12. Good. You know, so you're yeah. doing the best you can. Yeah. And they give you a few of these little paper signs, you know, mm -hmm. in blue. This is yes. shop small or shop year round or shop during the holidays, whatever. Mm -hmm. So I just went up and down College Highway. Perfect. And gave out to 12 of them. Yeah, and I think next year what we'll do is maybe we'll hit them like... I don't know, September, Sooner. August, <laughs> uh -huh. you know, just so we know if anybody wants to do anything. And, and say, if we had list. some money, we could probably get something from Spotlight or from Southwoods or whatever right. in terms of bags or signs right. or whatever it might be. Right. I think, you know, I think, yeah, the signs are good. I think, you know, and, and the bags, and I mean, that's nice and everything, but I think more would be to be able to let the Love public it. know right. what it, yeah. what they're actually, you know, if they're offering anything. Right. That's so, is got. there anything else we need to go to cover? No, I don't think so. When would our next meeting be? In January. January. 
I don't know, the 2022 calendar. Uh, so it'll be, be the third Wednesday. I'm just trying to see what the date is. Oh, I know my, my dog died. Uh, still crying. One, two, three, the 19th. Okay. okay. I might not be here. I'm just letting you know. Okay. Huh? So is there anything else? No, yes. yes. Sorry, as a member of public, Marisa cook over gone. 126 South Loomis, sorry. I um, was just going through the town website and I found your uh, webpage or the section of the website for economic development. The last recorded meeting was August 18th. That's the only uh, recorded meeting that's posted. I think that's we, the we filed them with the town right. clerk and I have no control over it beyond that. But now Do you, you accept your have minutes every, every meeting? Do you go over your minutes? Um, we we don't have a secretary. Much, yeah, we, and we we I mean we go over and we say you know and he drafts something up, but yeah. you know we pretty much just go over what. Yeah, what see, is we, we're, out. we're one of the, when the three, three boards. The only one doesn't one have a secretary. Oh, I get that. I understand. Yeah. We don't. I think that's the last historical commission. Yeah. Well, we didn't have meetings COVID during COVID, COVID right? I think no, we only met. Well, the, the first the first one was when everybody when everybody was screaming at us. That was yeah. June, okay. And then your yeah. next one is August. Oh, the library doesn't either. Have you met since August then? You met yeah. in September, yeah, right? Yeah, we did. Met, yeah. yeah. I see the We agenda. met September so and October, I think. Right. November or yeah. no? November. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. so there's three. I mean, at least you know, and it might be something worth bringing up so members of the public do is have the access. Is the August tape, is the tape that's there? It's, we, uh, we, we turn the tape in. No, no, I understand. Okay. YouTube. She she it's a YouTube. Yeah. So it's a tape. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So they're doing it, they're just not keeping up on it. Right, right. So in the website, if yeah. they do have it, it might be worth just having them upload it so that that information is publicly accessible. Mm. I'll take care of that tomorrow. Mm. That would be good. Thank you, Great. Mr. Dee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Yeah. They don't like listening to me, but it kind of works out that way. Well, they apparently don't like listening to us either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they're like, oh, they don't want to say anything. <laughs> So. <laughs> see, see the way the process is, and I, I've heard this from other boards. They say they would like to be able to fax in their email and their agenda, because many times people work during the day and they can't get to the town clerk's right. office right. between eight thirty and four thirty or whatever. But I was going in there because that's right. the only method that they'll course, accept. Yeah. They won't take faxes. They don't want emails. They got to stamp it. They they stamp it up in the yeah. corner. Yeah. They keep the original. They make two copies. They hand you one, and, and then I don't know where the other one copy ends up outside the back door on that bulletin board, okay. and I don't know where the other one goes. See, a lot of what the town does is it's a process that was started by the the farmers in sixteen hundred, <laughs> but nobody knows what they do. <laughs> it's the same thing as in 1600, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> they said okay. to buy the mule cart, you know, down College Highway. <laughs> Into a tobacco That's bar. The, it, was the big, it was the big outing for the day. So, uh, what time is it now? Just so we can say. 6.40. Okay, 6.40. Do I hear a motion to um, end the meeting? I'll make a motion. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 So that was unanimous. Okay. <laughs>